We have the highest cardiac arrest save rate in the world at this airport. I don't remember anything from two hours out. I remember texting Megan that I was hoping to catch the early shuttle. <clears throat> and then several hours later, I found out. I want to thank everybody. On the evening of January 2nd, Port Fire was dispatched to help an unconscious and unresponsive patient on the lower drives of the airport. Upon arrival, Port Fire Department continued CPR and delivered three additional shocks before King County medics arrived. The patient, who's in attendance today, Mark Schroeder, was transported and arrived in the emergency department at Valley Medical, where further life-saving efforts took place. As I lay in bed asleep, at two o'clock in the morning, not knowing that all of this was going on and waking up and my person wasn't next to me like he should have been. He was lost to me. I didn't know if he was alive or dead or where he was at. I didn't know what to do, but it was just so nice to know that there were so many people taking care of him behind the scenes. I don't have a I don't remember a lot of things, short-term memory or whatever. And so a picture, when I get up in the morning, I can thank all of you for giving me this. No matter how small or whatever part that you put, you put in, thank you. You guys are all just wonderful, and thank you very much. And the family back on the East Coast wanted us to make sure and let everyone know how much you are all appreciated. So, thank you very much. All of you are my hero. My daughters all wanted to say the same thing. All three of them wanted to thank you, each and every one of you.